The Minister of Health, Dr. Amadou Lamin Samate, has announced plans by the government of the Gambia to set up a commission of inquiry that will look into the deaths of 70 children from acute kidney injury Ake. Dr. Samate made this disclosure at the National Assembly Chambers on Wednesday, 26 October 2022, during the third extraordinary session of the National Assembly in Panchol. Mafuji Sisi has the details. Addressing the lawmakers, the health minister, Dr. Samata said most of the child victims had diarrhea, vomiting, fever and cough and were referred from all six health regions in the country. Detecting outbreaks of this nature that have multiple possible causes is very challenging, especially for developing countries. During this outbreak, the World Bank has agreed to construct a drug and food testing laboratory for us in the country as there is also no food testing laboratory in this country. Preliminary work has already started to this effect. Distinguished Honorable Speaker, National Assembly members, I believe that our country has been assaulted. This is an aggression against our people from greedy, unscrupulous people. The manufacturing, distribution, and importation of contaminated drugs is criminal and government sees it that way. However, due diligence needs to be carried out to get to the root of the problem. The license of the importer has been suspended, the two pharmacy outlets of the importer have been closed, and the police have started the investigations in earnest. The Indian authorities have also been contacted, and we've been told that on their own, they had taken steps against the manufacturer, and this included closing their factory. And it is also stated that they found series of serious breaches in the factory. Government is on the verge of setting up a commission of inquiry into the issue. This, we believe, will help in identifying the problems and come up with recommendations to deal with the current problem and avert any future recurrences. Minister Samade further informed MPs that due diligence needs to be carried out to get to the root cause of the problem, revealing that the license of the importer is suspended, the two pharmacy outlets of the importer have been closed, and the police have started the investigation in earnest. According to Minister Samade, the Indian authorities had been contacted and on their own had taken steps against the manufacturer, including the factory closing. He disclosed that the Indian authorities found a series of severe breaches at the factory, reaffirming the Gambia government's commitment to establishing a commission of inquiry soonest. In our newly established postgraduate training program at the EFSTH, with the support of the World Bank, we have employed 16 senior doctors from the West African sub-region including a professor of pediatric nephrology. This is a professor, professor of kidney disease in children. We also now have a Gambian nephrologist, that's a kidney disease specialist, at the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital. In his own words, the Minister of Health sends condolences to the families of the late over 70 children that died as a result of acute kidney failure adding that the period has been difficult for the families of the victims while praying that Allah grants the parents the fortitude to bear the lost. I'd like to extend our sincere condolences to all the families affected, all the families who have lost their loved ones, and we pray that Allah grants all the departed children as their natural field house. This period has been very difficult for the families of the children and we pray that Allah grants them the fortitude to bear the loss. It has been a very difficult period for all the people, the families who were in hospitals with them. We saw their struggles, we saw their pain. Each time I visited the patients at the hospital, we saw the anxiety, 
the fear, the pain on the faces of the families. We understand what you went through. But only Allah can comfort you, and we pray that Allah comforts all of you. Following the tragic death of up to 70 children caused by a harmful syrup imported from India, citizens and politicians alike have been calling on the Health Minister, Dr. Samate, to resign as a man of integrity. Minister Samate had ignored all calls for his resignation. In July 2022, the Health Ministry received information from the doctors at the Pediatric Department of the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital that they were seeing an increased number of children under five years who were presenting with symptoms of acute kidney injury. This information was conveyed to the Epidemiology Disease Control Unit of the Ministry of Health whose mandate is to conduct surveillance and control disease of public health concern. Incident management was set up. The government leader is under fire with critics characterizing his leadership with rampant corruption and less efforts to redress the situation of the country until the World Health Organization had to intervene and reveal the actual number of deaths. Mafuji Sise, Africa News.